your program. You don't ever have to call. You never have to ask. You want to come to practice, you just show up. This is your program. You built this. You put banners up in the rafters. I'm lucky to be the steward right now and lead this thing into the next era, but this is your program. I'm not going to name all of them, but I'm going to name one. Kenny Payne. Kenny Payne. Obviously didn't work out the way we wanted it, but he is a major, major, major part of Card Nation. And he is welcome back here like everybody else. Pat Kelsey, the new coach, making a big statement during his announcement, acknowledging the fired coach Kenny Payne and the impact he's had on U of L basketball. As the torch is passed from Payne to Kelsey, he also had more to say about the former coaches. I can't believe it. I'm going to grace the same sidelines, maybe a different building. It's the great Denny Crum and the great Rick Pitino. Are you kidding me? The new U of L basketball coach, Pat Kelsey, at today's news conference, he is talking about the former players and the coaches. Well, speaking of former players, Jerry Eves, who played for Denny Crum on the first championship team, is with us live. Jerry is also the athletic director at Simmons College of Kentucky. Jerry, he talked about your good friend Kenny Payne there. Yes, he did. Embraced him, said he'll come back. Do you think Kenny would do that? And how important is it for him to do that, especially with the state of the program as it stands? Well, he put the olive branch out there, which is what is expected. I think that Coach Payne will come back to the program. He's part of the program. He's a national champion. Because it didn't go well, most of the time coaching jobs don't go well. So people don't understand that. Most of the time coaches do get fired. We've had five. He's the fifth coach since Rick Pitino's left. So it's a tough job. It's a really tough job. So I think Coach Payne will come back to the program, and we need the fans to come back to the UM Center in the worst way. Let's talk about that. So there's a lot of energy around this new coach. He himself has a lot of energy, and it's he really does. exciting. How do you think he translates that into the next season when the reality hits, they're playing the games, and they need the community to be there? Well, he made a statement in the press conference that all that he is in control of is what's next. He can't take care of what's happened. He can only take care of what's coming to happen. And they said, what happens when there's a setback? He says, we're going to go back to work the next day. And that's the only thing. That was a great statement because that's the only thing in your control is what you can control, which is the next day. Make it a championship day. And then when you have another setback, the next morning you have to get up and make it a championship day. I really enjoyed that. You went to the news conference, we yes, should say, and uh, you think you've said, you told us last night at 11 that you think it's a good hire. Chris Mack has tweeted very supportive comments about yes. his protege. Mm -hmm. So where when's the uh, bloom off the rose here? I guess when the season starts? Yes, yeah, first game. We'll understand first game, and he will also what he's gotten himself into. But I think that Skip Prosser is one of his protege. He is followed behind Tim Skip Prosser, a very good coach. He's got great pedigree. I think he's going to do well. He's got great energy. He's funny to listen to. I think the players will want to migrate to him, and we just have to give him time. The city of Louisville is going to have to give the young man a chance to rebuild the culture here. It hasn't been good. No one wants to accept that. That's what has made this job such a tough job. We need people to come out and support the young man and the team and the players. Not the first five games, the next five years. Give the man a true chance. And is that what you think it's going to take five years to really rebuild a program that has people excited, where they're winning games, they're getting into tournaments, back to that Louisville program that yes. people know and love? It's going to take two or three years to get back to where they make the NCAA tournament. It'll take five years before they truly can vie, five, six years before they can vie for a sweet 16, a grade eight. It's going to take time. You heard the U of L president say, I believe we got this one right. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'll give him more time than they gave Kenny Payne, which was two years? Kenny Payne was hired March 18th, two years ago. Here we're at uh, March 28th, <laughs> Doug, you two years just later. Kill just kill it. <laughs> That's so true. They're going to give the young men more time. Uh, Kenny walked into a very difficult situation. I don't think he understood what he was walking into. He does now. Now that he's gone and he's reflecting on it, he walked into a very difficult situation. I don't think Pat's walking into a situation like that. And I do think that the administration will give him more time. They're going to have to. There's nothing else left. People were not running for this job. Let's just be honest. They were turned down three or four times. So they're going to have to be patient.